Hi guys. Hi. Hi guys, welcome to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Bridget Oladipo. I'm a Nigeria currently resident in the UAE. On this channel, I film about faith, marriage, and lifestyle. Thank you for tuning in. And for my returning subscribers, you guys are the real MVPs. Thank you for tuning in. As you can already tell by the title of this video, by the way, let me wish you happy holidays, compliment of the season. As you can already tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about the things that I am grateful for in this year, 2020. Happy holidays. Let's get right into the video. Yes, so we all know that 2020 has come with a lot of its ups and downs, with a lot of things that were unexpected for everyone. We've been hit in one way or the other with the things that happened in this year. By the way, it was just my birthday some three days back. For those that are following me on Instagram, they said that my birthday was on the 12th of December, on the 12th of this month, 2020, and I am highly, highly grateful to God. Thank you for every one of you that sent me messages on the YouTube, on the Instagram. Thank you, may the, God, may the Lord bless you. Um, so. I was talking about this year and all of the troubles it has come with from the uh, global pandemic of the COVID-19, the lockdown, the um, recessions, the natural disasters, the unrest in so many African countries. The list is on, you know, but how everyone how everyone felt the blow of the things that happened in this year depends on how each an individual is being affected by the things that happened in this year. So if you look back in the retrospect, being the last month of the year, as I'm filming this video, today is the 15th day of December 2020. You know, I just sat back and I look back in retrospect, reflecting on all that has happened, and I choose to list the things that I am grateful for. So in no particular order, Okay, I'm going to be saying the things that I'm grateful for in no particular orders. And I'm sure you are also grateful for some things this year, though a lot has happened. So first on my list, I am grateful and thankful for good health. By the way, I'll keep looking back because I did list some things down in my diary, so I don't keep blabbing la, 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 like that. <laughs> you know how it is now. You know how it is. I don't need to waste your time, right? So let's... Like I said, the first thing I'm grateful for is good health. Guys, I cannot even lie. I have not been someone that has been in and out of the hospital. I give God all the glory for that. And this year, when it came with all of these trials and all, I can't but just, you know, like, just totally trust God to see me through this year. I have got kids and, you know, but in his infinite mercy, in God's infinite mercy, he preserved I and my household, you know, throughout the pandemic. You know, there was nothing like going in and out of the hospital. Neither have we, uh, have we had any cause to be test positive to the virus itself. Not because I've just been very careful, I've been living right or eating right. It's just of the sheer mercies of God. And for that, I am grateful. Not just I and my household, everyone in my circle. I thank God everyone has been healthy and I really want to give God all the glory for that. Number two on my list that I am really grateful for in this year 2020 is this channel. Guys, I am extremely grateful to God for this channel and all of you, my subscribers. It is a blessing to have met you. If I've not started the channel, I wouldn't have met you. If I've not started the channel, you wouldn't have been watching me to learn from me and I learn from you. So this year has been a blessing. This channel has been of immersive blessing unto me. I have become more confident in myself. I have become more bold. God has given me this platform to lend a voice that some people will get to hear and be inspired and encouraged through. I am eternally grateful. I am grateful to every one of you that keep returning to watch me and comment and, you know, give your likes and your support and the channel has been going at its own pace. I am extremely grateful for you all. You know, some of you, I don't know how I would have met some of you. You know, I have, I've gotten friends and sisters through this channel. You know, I met them on this, in this YouTube community and now we are friends. How would I have met you all if I have not started the channel? So I am extremely grateful to God for this channel and for every one of you that has subscribed to my channel. And for those of you that have not, please consider subscribing. 
on this channel you'll be motivated and inspired and i tell you when you hear my story and you know where i'm coming from you'll be inspired and you know that you can do more than you are already doing so i am immensely grateful for this channel and for every one of you my subscribers thank you for always watching my video third on my list Thing that i am grateful for in this year 2020 is technology guys how would we have survived the lockdown and everything everything that it came with if there was no technology when i mean technology i'm talking about zoom i'm talking about facebook i'm talking about whatsapp i'm talking about all the social media platforms that we were able to keep reaching out to our families, that we were attending churches by, for us in the UAE, you know, services still via Zoom anyway. So I am really, really thankful to God for um, the technology. You know, during the lockdown, I basically like talk to every member of my family every day. We see each other via, via Zoom, via WhatsApp call, via um my facebook messenger call and all of that and we didn't even know that we are all on lockdown you know god used that means to even bond some families the more and i am extremely grateful for it i am extremely grateful for that platform that till now we are still able to fellowship and pray together and study the word of God together. I'm grateful for that platform that my kids have been learning through, despite the fact that they've not been to um, the on-site classroom since March this year. They've been home and they've been learning from home via, you know, uh, Google Meet. I want to thank God for technology. Uh, fourth on my list, thing that I'm grateful for is I am grateful for the lockdown itself that gave I and my family and every other person to like bond to have a time together you know we are practically like on each other faces and we got to know our kids the more you know for for I and my husband got, got to know each other more we did a lot of fun things that that got us you know so bonded together there is good in everything that seems bad. Yes, some people may have been highly and negatively uh, affected by this but there are still things to thank God for, I am sure. For me, I am thankful for that moment, in that moment of two months that we are just all in each other's faces, that we had time to bond and, you know, just laugh and enjoy each other's uh, company. Number, I am thankful for provision. I just want to thank God. You know, when I look back now during that lockdown, for me personally, I was on unpaid leave. My organization couldn't, you know, keep up paying everybody. So some people were sent on a paid leave and, you know, um, fortunately or unfortunately, I was one of them and I am thankful to God because he proved himself to me that he is my Jehovah Jari, that my job is not my... Um, my job is not the one sustaining I am my family, but he has been my provider. And during that time, like I always share with everyone that cares to listen, I had, I, I was living in abundance. I mean, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating, guys, and I'm not even going to lie. My, 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 my kitchen storage was always filled with food, like food. Not because I had so much money to keep buying. Even my husband was on um, slashed salary at that time because, you know, he is a sales executive and sales were not coming in because everyone is on lockdown, right? So we were both practically living any little or nothing but god sustained us and he divinely provide for us i cannot help but mention uh stop and help uae they are um they are non-profit organization that you know took up the challenge of reaching out to people in the uae especially during that lockdown you know they were reaching out to families that were without job family that were on slash salaries and you know Every other day, they keep dropping food at my food step. I'm going to insert some pictures or videos here of, you know, food brought to my house during that time. And I was just having more than enough during that time. I pray that the Lord will bless Stop and Help Initiative and every other person that took an initiative to be reaching out to, to people during that lockdown. God was faithful. We had more than enough provision during the lockdown. I am grateful to God. I am grateful to God for my job and the job of my husband. Yes, I was on unpaid leave uh, during that lockdown, but when the lockdown was over, we were caught back and now I have my job. I know some people during that lockdown have lost their job and so now they've not been able to get another job. Some are still out of job as we speak. Some are still on unpaid leave as we speak but i thank the lord that i had my job back and i you know my husband is still in job it's just god's blessings okay it's not out of the special things we did so i am very very grateful to god that i still have a job now 
list? Yes, next on my list is I am extremely grateful to God for spiritual growth. In this year 2020, the lockdown and all that it came with has drawn me nearer to God and I I have dug deep in his word and I can see myself really, really, you know, growing in faith daily. The 2020 lockdown is the one that bet my first speaking engagement via Zoom because yes, every service is meet on Zoom and most time, you know, out of, you know, just wanting to learn more, to know more, we see uh, ads of, um, churches that are meeting on Zoom, even those that are not in the UAE. So we came in contact with one church that we we're worshipping with in Amsterdam and other countries like that. I remember having a speaking engagement. I had to talk to women like myself about God's words and how we can build our home. For those of you that are following me on Instagram, I even shared the flyers, the e-flyer on my Instagram page. Then I will leave the link somewhere i will insert the v picture somewhere so that you can see that was the first of its kind that my own face will appear on an e-flyer to as a guest speaker i don't take that for light everybody has a starting point that was my own starting point that was my own push for to come out of my 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 comfort zone and be heard and i am grateful for that platform and all the platform that helped me grow spiritually all the people i've met during the lockdown that have boosted my spiritual growth i am eternally grateful to god on so my list i am grateful to god for the birth of our ministry during the course of this year for those of you that don't know my husband is a pastor he's a uh, methodist uh, reverend and the ministry in uae started during the course of this year it is still online but god has helped us with some family members that have become part of our, uh, our worship team that are now a family. And I am grateful for that ministry that have made me meet such amazing families that has made this year just extremely special and beautiful for me. I am grateful to God and I'm thankful for everyone that I have met through the journey of our ministry and the ministry is growing till now. I give. Finally, I am thankful for life. Of all of the things I have listed, if there is no life, will these things even ever come to play? So therefore, I am grateful for life. I am grateful for, for the fact that I am speaking. Like I said, I am making this video on the 15th day of the month of December 2020. I don't know where you are going, when you are going to be seeing this video. For the fact that there is life, there is hope. If you are watching this video, it is because the Lord in His infinite mercy has spared our life during the whole turbulence that happened in this year 2020. So I am extremely grateful for life. When there is life, there is hope. When there is life, everything that you were not able to accomplish this year, they will definitely happen. So for the fact that we have life, for the fact that we are healthy, for the fact that we are still here, <laughs> that is just enough to thank God and be grateful for. And as we look forward into the years to come, we still trust God to see us through. So I am extremely grateful for life that the Lord has given unto me till now. I don't intend to make this video so long. So you share with me in the comment section, what are the things you are grateful for in this year? My list are more, but I just chose to mention this few, you know, with you guys. Share with me in the comment section, the things you are really grateful for that happened in this year, 2020. I would like to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. That will be the end of this video for now. Please don't forget to give you this video a like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share. It might just be helpful to someone. And don't forget to share me out for my content creators. Please share me out. I will appreciate it. It will help my channel to grow more. Give the like, give the comments. Thank you for your support. I extremely appreciate you for your support and for everything you're doing for this channel to grow thank you so much till i see you in my next video stay blessed stay safe compliment of the season i'll see you in the next video god bless you bye